It's Mike from the Mike and Jim's Music Muser. How's everybody doing? This is our second podcast. Uh, we took a little bit of a break off because uh, we had to get our thoughts together and decide uh, what we were going to do for this upcoming show. Um, our our uh, web, our web uh, email address is musicmuser at live.com. Now, if anybody wants to leave a comment or uh, send us a request or any ideas for up and coming shows, feel free to leave your thoughts and patterns. What I thought uh, uh, would be good for this show is that we uh, recently seen a Pink Floyd show. Uh, when was it, Jim? Was it in July that we seen the... Actually, it wasn't even a Pink, Flo- Pink Floyd show. Uh, it wasn't even a Pink Floyd show. It was uh, Roger Waters. Uh, he did the tour um, of The Wall again. Unfortunately, I was only eight years old when it came out in 79, so I wasn't there to see Pink Floyd do uh, The Wall itself. So it was kind of it was kind of neat to see Pink Floyd, uh, Roger Waters show. What did, what did you think of the show, Jim, like uh, when we went down and seen it? I think it was in July, like the 16th or 17th. What did you think? June 23rd. June 23rd? Yeah. It was a great show. Uh, Michael Wilson was good. Yeah, because he's getting kind of old now, but he was in pretty good shape, though, right? Like, when, when you see him on the big screen and stuff. Well, unfortunately, we didn't have the best seats, but they turned out to be okay seats. Um, I, like, we, we got to see the whole stage and everything. It was kind of neat, especially when that plane crashed into the wall and uh, there was a big explosion and stuff. So, um, yeah, like, uh, lots of camera phones. Oh, everybody was going crazy with the camera. Yeah, but uh, he, but he did do something cool with uh, when he was doing um, the I think it was Mother. He he did the uh, video stuff, live video stuff from I guess when they did the first tour, uh, 1979 when he did the song Mother. He was singing along to a track that was on the big screen, um, and he was singing and harmonizing with himself playing it live, which was pretty cool. I thought that I thought that was amazing, um, and uh, it, was, it was a pretty full full house, eh, considering that the rest of the Pink Floyd guys weren't there. I mean, in fact, uh, I think the, the last album that Pink Floyd did together with David Gilmour and the rest of the guys was uh, the final cut. That was their last, um, I, 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 the, their last album before they split up in '83, and and then they got together in 1985 to do Live Aid. Well, like, what would you think about that, though? Like, uh, I don't know. I didn't uh, quite follow the, the split, maybe between uh, Waters and uh, Gilmore. Yeah, I get it. Musical differences they had and stuff. And to do with rights to the music, I suppose, too. Yeah. So, Which is unfortunate, because they're such a great band, and you hear about these bands that get together and... Uh, uh, they, they split, split up, up, even though they're so amazing, and we don't we don't know the inner understandings of whatever com- conflict that they had had put together. But uh, uh, both me and me and Jim here were thinking about uh, maybe playing a live track of uh, one of the songs. What song did you have in mind that you wanted me to? Yeah, I wish you were here. Oh, wish you here, which was an entirely uh, different uh, album, but still had that uh, Roger Waters flavor to it and stuff. And from my understanding. Um, I, I, that, that song, Wish You Were Here, was, um, was, was uh, a, s- a riff that, that David Gilmore did the original, original boom, da, 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 da. But, but he was, he was, um, he was singing along to some lyrics that Roger Waters, that Roger Waters had, and, uh, they blended it together, and it was so amazing. So, yeah, I'll come back after the short break, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll uh, I'll try singing that live. Uh, well, uh, maybe, well, maybe you could do some harmonies in the background. So uh, we'll be back in uh, one short moment. All right, I'm just going to give it a shot, man. I'm not a professional by any means. But anyways, this is the riff that David Gilmour created. And uh, Roger Waters' lyrics were hanging around. Can you 
song, uh, Wish You Were Here, that wasn't on the wall, that was off of uh, the album, Wish You Were Here, which was uh, 70, 70, 75, 75, yeah, and uh, you were mentioning in the break there that uh, the Australian Pink Floyd show, David Gilmour, for his 50th birthday, hired them to come and play at his birthday party? Yeah, well, they played for it, I don't know what was the, uh, I don't know the details, but uh, like they've also So that says a lot about uh, a band, like a cover band, if the band, like David Gilmore and Pink Floyd, is inviting them to come play the show. I think that's right. pretty cool. That was in 1996. 96 on his 50th birthday, right. And uh, Pink Floyd lost one of the great, uh, great piano players in a rock band, uh, Richard Wright. He, he died of cancer. Uh, uh, what, I'm not sure what year that was. It must have been 2000 something. But uh, we lost two of the main, uh, two of the main members. We lost Sid Barrett for he went into a Sid Barrett went into a diabetic coma, and then after Sid died, I think Sid was 60 years old. Uh, Richard Wright uh, uh, succumbed to uh, cancer at, in 2000 something. So yeah, what a great band. a message, uh, email us at musicmuser at live.com if you have any comments regarding Pink Floyd, uh, the topic. Yeah, Richard Wright, he died, I believe the year was 2006, Sid Barrett, eh? Like that, uh, that the leading member. 2008, Sid Barrett passed. Yeah, so two, two of them are off into the, the ether and gone up into the stars, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, yeah, what, what can you say about great show. I'm, I'm really happy that we went to see that show. So I thought maybe we could end this uh, podcast um, by playing uh, some Pink Floyd for you, other than me singing. Uh, let's play an actual uh, recording of Pink Floyd. And again, you can get back to us at musicmuser at live.com. Thanks for listening to the Jim and Mike Music Muser Show. Um, tune in next week when we talk about something else.